guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. My daughter and I stopped by Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree has started putting out some fall decorations and some fall floral picks. So I decided to make a sunflower wreath. Now I did pick up 10 sunflower floral picks. I only used seven, but I would recommend picking up at least eight sunflower picks for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to need at least, like I said, eight sunflower picks. You're going to need a Dollar Tree wire wreath form. You're going to need some ribbon with wire if you would like to tie a bow. You'll need your wire cutters, your hot glue gun, and glue sticks. And what you're going to do first is you are going to want to take your sunflowers and just carefully pull the flowers off of the stem. So if you would like to see how I made this, just keep watching. This is how the sunflowers look when you have them pulled off the stem. Now make sure you save the stems because you might want to use them on another craft project. Okay guys, and I forgot to mention, it's easier to glue the sunflowers on when you wrap your wire wreath form with ribbon. So I'm just using some ribbon that I had left over, but just when you choose your ribbon, try to find something that kind of goes with the colors of the sunflowers. And then you're just going to carefully hot glue the ribbon on and just wrap it around your frame. So just make sure you get it tight. It does not have to be perfect because we're covering it with flowers, but just take some ribbon. And like I said, it doesn't have to be new ribbon. Just use some ribbon that you, you know, already used some scrap ribbon, whatever you have. Don't go out and buy new because it's going to be covered. Then you're just going to take your sunflowers and you're going to hot glue them onto your wreath. Now I kind of placed mine kind of like in a triangle shape because you want the wreath covered the flowers to show from all angles so you want to make sure it's really you know covered well and full i only used seven floral picks but i could have probably squeezed in all 10 if i wanted to but just be very careful when you're using your hot glue gun i am using the gorilla glue hot glue sticks and gorilla glue hot glue gun for mine and after you hot glue your flowers on you kind of need to hold them for just a little bit until the glue sets up and dries a little bit and I just kind of squeeze my sunflowers in tight all the way around the wreath. You do not have to use sunflowers for your wreath. You can use any type of flowers that you would like. Just make sure that when you're hot gluing them on that you're getting the ribbon covered. Just make it nice and full. And make sure, like I said, you hold the flowers for just a little bit and let that glue dry. Sometimes I added the hot glue to the back of the flowers and sometimes I added the glue to the ribbon. It's just whatever is easiest for you so that you can make sure and get your wreath covered completely with flowers. Some people might not like as many sunflowers as I added. Some people might, may you know, choose to space them out further than I did. It's just whatever style works best for you. I put mine close together, but if you want to space them out, you could. Dollar Tree really has some pretty flowers in, new for fall, so if you haven't stopped by, check out your Dollar Tree and see if they put out some new fall decorations, but I think this just turned out really pretty and it looks more expensive than $11. And then I just added some twine to the back of mine, I just hot glued it on so that I could hang it up. And I put mine on my laundry room door, now I may not leave it on there right now since it's a little early, I'll probably put the 4th of July one back up. But it looks really pretty on the laundry room door. Now I'm just tying a bow, and this ribbon does have wire, so let out a tail, make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in your left hand, go to the opposite side, try to make a loop the same size as your first loop, and then just go back and forth, back and forth, trying to make the loops the same size on each side until you have the bow the size you want. And this ribbon was being a little bit difficult for me to work with. It does have burlap in it. It turned out really pretty in the end, but it just didn't want to turn and twist exactly how I wanted it to at first. And I am using some 20 gauge floral stem wire to wrap tightly around the center of my bow. So just make sure you get the wire nice and tight. Next, to dovetail the ends, take your ribbon, fold it in half with the edges to the left side, Go to the folded side and cut away from the fold and that makes the pretty V on the ends. Next you're ready to fluff your loops. Now the bow is optional. 
I added the bow because y'all know that I love bows on everything. So it's just personal preference, but I just took the floral stem wire that was on the bow and I just wrapped them around the wreath form, went to the back and gave the wires a few twists. Now I put it on the left side at first, but in just a little bit you'll see I changed it to the bottom. So let me know if you like it with a bow, without a bow, or if you like it on the left side or the bottom. Let me know which way it looks best because I need some help. This is the second uh, fall wreath that I've made so far this summer. Um, the first one I did was a pumpkin splatter screen wreath. So if you haven't watched that one, I will link it in the description box below for you. And I will also leave you a materials list in the description box. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.